Over half a century after the Queen Mary sliced Curacao in two, the deep sea divers descend to see if the point of impact yields clues. But how could two such experienced crews end up sailing into each other? 338 men lose their lives, but there are survivors. Can witness evidence help the divers? American troops on board the Queen Mary witness the horror. Curacao is demolished by the larger ship, yet for all her 81,000 tons, the Queen Mary does not escape unscathed. Damage control ports for our own ship. Order dead slow. Yes, sir. Dead slow. Dead slow, sir. Withholding details of a sinking is hard both on those who lose loved ones and those who survive. The relatives of men lost on Curacao were notified of their deaths, but given no other information. Only two of the Curacao's 27 officers survived, her captain and the ship's air defense officer. On Curacao, the men know something has gone badly wrong. I've been asleep. Yeah, yeah, I didn't panic at all, strangely enough. Uh, unusual, I suppose, to think from the outside, I say, well, you should have panicked. <laughs> but uh, no, there wasn't time for that, I don't think. Abandon ship! Get your legs ready! In the galley, ship's cook Paddy Houston feels the impact. Oh, so there was Paddy standing there, which is a guardrail. He's petrified because he couldn't swim. Come on, let's go. Abandon ship. Abandon ship. I can't. I just can't. Come on, you have to. She's going down. I can't. I can't swim. Come on, do anything. Doggy paddle. Come on, we need to. He'd been good pals, and uh, I was, uh, he wouldn't jump. There's no bad. And I had to go, otherwise I'd have gone with him. The men left on Curacao are now desperately struggling for survival. To escape the chaos, those that can run for their lives.